The first step towards installing a bow thruster is to determine where in the hull of the boat the tunnel is going to be installed, and then cutting the hole for the tunnel. In this video, we'll go through the factors to consider while picking the installation location and how to cut the hole. The goal in picking the tunnel location should be to install it as far forward as possible. The further forward the bow thruster is located, the more mechanical advantage it has to push the bow of the boat port or starboard, making it more efficient. The center of the tunnel must be at least one tunnel diameter below the waterline to avoid sucking in air, which would cause cavitation and result in a loss of thrust. However, the bottom of the tunnel must also be at least one quarter of the diameter from the bottom of the hull, shown here. Once you've determined the best location to install the tunnel on the outside of the hull, you must also confirm that there's space on the interior of the boat. In the case of this particular install, two bulkheads on the interior dictated the location of the tunnel installation be a little bit further forward than the ideal spot that we'd marked on the outside of the hull. Once the location of the tunnel has been determined and carefully measured and marked, it's time to drill the pilot hole in the center of the tunnel for the guide rod of the tunnel tool. Once the pilot hole is drilled, set the tunnel tool to the preset position for the tunnel diameter and model of thruster you're installing and begin cutting the hole. Pivoting around the guide rod, use the tip of the grinder to begin scoring the hole, applying slightly more and more pressure until you've cut through the hull of the boat. Once the tunnel hole has been cut, it's time to fit the tunnel into place. Because the tunnel tool is designed for a very snug fit, some additional grinding may be necessary to fit the tunnel into place. Stay tuned for the next video detailing the installation of the tunnel. Please remember these videos are for reference only and that the installation manual should be consulted thoroughly throughout every step of the installation process. If you have any questions or would like any additional information, please feel free to contact Demtra and we'll be happy to help. A special thanks to RC Marine Electric for allowing us to film this installation.